if you're going to have uh, as much as a landing every year on the surface of the moon, uh, there's going to be a, a lot of money required and there's going to be a, the need for competition among commercial companies and that's going to require some more money. And a good time to address that is right now uh, because we've got a huge jobs bill that is coming in front of the Congress mm. outside of the regular appropriations uh, and that jobs bill has an R&D component. And that's what I've been suggesting as I have talked to legislators on Capitol Hill that they consider the jobs bill as a way to uh, give this extra boost of funding. Outside of government funding, a lot of the energy for space is coming from three of the world's richest men, billionaires in space, Musk, Bezos, Branson. What does NASA make of those three individuals kind of leading the charge for the next era of space? Well, I think it's terrific. And uh, they have lent not only their money, but their talent, uh, their vast organizations, all with the goal that we all have to explore space. And uh, I think the proof's in the pudding. We've already seen what SpaceX has done. Uh, you'll certainly be seeing, along with traditional companies, uh, such as uh, 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 Lockheed and Boeing uh, and Northrop Grumman, you will see uh, the others that you mentioned, uh, Blue Origin, which is Bezos. Uh, you'll see Richard Branson's uh, suborbital. Uh, you'll see all of this, and it's, it's an exciting time. Why is it important for NASA and the United States to make annual trips to the moon and establish a presence on the moon? There's so much that we can learn on the moon and around the moon in preparation for what we have to do, the systems we have to design, the technologies we have to develop, uh, in order to take a human crew all the way to Mars, have them stay on the surface for the length of time that is necessary until the planets realign so that they can come back in a decent time. And uh, that is a substantial magnitude much greater than what we've done when we go to the moon. Uh, as we did over uh, a half century ag ago. Outside of these sort of incredible goals of interplanetary travel, SpaceX, Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic, they have sort of more near-term ambition for sort of low Earth orbit space tourism. Do you, does NASA worry about that, about the kind of energy going into that? and? and those goals for space tourism. I'm thinking, of course, about you know, the highest bidder getting a seat, millionaires funding their way into space. Does that compete with NASA's objectives or is it something that NASA is supportive of? It's complementary. Uh, the more people that can experience uh, looking back at this Earth from that perspective uh, and seeing Earth as this colorful creation suspended in the middle of nothing uh, that gives you a perspective of an overview that this is our home, it's the planet, that when you look you don't see political boundaries and you don't see religious boundaries and you don't see racial divides. You see that we're all in this together for as many people to have that experience that I was blessed to have is, uh, I, th I think, a tremendous uh, opportunity to help inform us here as citizens of planet Earth.